Engineering is making things work, and I don't know of any other prizes of this magnitude uh, that highlight this whole process of taking science and turning it into something real. Look around you, you know, everything you see, whether it's buildings, whether it's uh, telecommunications, literally everything around you that you rely on is created by engineers. They're the ones that make the world tick and, and make the world work. Engineering is all around us and there's absolutely nothing wrong in glamorizing engineering because it really is, you know, right at the center of all the exciting stuff that happens in society. Everybody uses the internet, be it on their phones or their computers, and to remind everyone that that's engineering, it's engineers that did it, I think is extremely important. We are delighted to be here today on behalf of the Queen to celebrate the first winners of the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering. Engineering has had a huge effect on my life because I would literally not be standing here today without the engineering expertise that developed the titanium rods for scoliosis that are keeping me upright today. I look forward to congratulating the winners and watching the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering grow from strength to strength. I think it's been a phenomenal just following the media and the way young people have reacted to the prize, the fact that the Prime Minister of the UK has decided to launch a new prize on innovation, to me is an expression of the success of the Queen Elizabeth Prize. Very important prize, this is a great idea. The impetus that the Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering can give our society at a time when more than ever we need it um, is, is vital. Now I think there is no other prize uh, which is of this significance in the engineering. Oh, I think this prize will easily surpass the Nobel Prize. I can't imagine a bigger catch than being able to come to London and Buckingham Palace and meet the Queen herself. Let me now introduce four of our prize winners and ask them to come forward to receive their award. Dr. Vinton Cerf for the internet. Dr. Robert Kahn also for the internet. Mr. Louis Cousin also for the internet. Sir Tim Berners-Lee for the World Wide Web. I have great pleasure in giving my name to this prize. The Queen Elizabeth Prize for Engineering recognizes those who have brought benefits across the globe. It is right that we should celebrate those achievements. I designed the trophy. I feel really honored. It's um, an amazing uh, opportunity. Well. A great honor to be the f one of the first recipients. Happy to share it with the others that were named as well. It's uh, the fact of being together, which uh, has allowed us to, to produce the internet. If we had been separate teams, you probably would not have reached the same point. Well, I imagine that in the future, the prize will be given to people in all sorts of different versions of engineering, like uh, engineering uh, sort of at the nanoscale and engineering at the huge, at the sort of space scale. And we're starting off basically with virtual engineering in the virtual space. So you know, I hope that people do realize that engineering is really broad, very excited, and all, and all connected. Engineering is a business and a creative activity all of itself. It is making the best of our human brains to make the world better, more interesting, more effective, allowing us to do more things in our lives. All of the big challenges the world has to face, you know, engineers will have to come up with the solutions. We've seen it in the past and I think we'll see it in the future. I think art and engineering is definitely very connected, especially robotics, which is very much about being creative, about thinking out of the box. Just imagine speaking to Google 
to ask it to do a search or asking it for your mobile for directions by just asking, by simply saying, please get me from point A to point B. That would have been science fiction, and it was science fiction 10 or 20 years ago. It isn't anymore. That's engineering.